So uh, in our last session, what we covered, so we covered how to create a structure, how to create one internal table, how to create a work area, and then how to update the work area with uh, some entries, you know, some values in the work area, and then appending that work area into internal table. So what are the key points here? Work area can hold only one record at a time. Internal table can hold multiple records. If you want to append a record into work area, first, sorry, internal table, first you need to fill your work area and then add the, you know, append that work area into internal table, which creates an entry in the internal table. Okay. So on this uh, 21 to 24, we are filling the work area. So I given you example also clearly stating, you know, uh, how exactly this works. So we are filling the work area with information and then appending this work area into the internal table, which creates an entry. Okay. Similarly, after filling the, uh, after updating this entry in the internal table, I am clearing the work area. Why? Because I want to make it again, this is a clean slate and then update the new values again. Okay. For that, we are using the clear statement. So after filling again with the latest second record values in the work area, I'm appending that work area again into the internal table. Okay. So this will create the second record like this 10 or 100 records. You can update it, but you know, okay. So if it is one very less records, we do manually enter like this, but if it is, you know, we don't enter, you know, 100, 200 records like this, you know, manually into an internal table. We don't go for in that way. Okay, we will try to put some other easy solution for that. So now next, what we are going to learn. So, so far you entered records into internal table. Now you want to display the data from internal table into your output screen. Like you want to know how many records are there in your internal table and all the data from the internal table, you want to display it on the output screen. So how we can do it using the loop statement, you can perform this operation. Okay, what one using the loop loop statement, we can, uh, you know, you do this operation. So now we are going to learn how to write loop in loop syntax. Hmm? So I'm writing continuation uh, into this program. Okay, so, so far uh, updating records into the table. So I am writing a small comment here stating updating records into internal table. Okay. So now what uh, next we are going to do, um, writing that records, uh, displaying records in internal table on output screen. Displaying records in internal table on output screen. Okay, so this is what we are going to do now. So now let me fill my, you know, this one. I will first explain you on the Excel sheet how exactly this is going to work. And then I will show you how to write it in programmatically. So 1001, 2022, M1, and 10 quantity, and ST is the unit. And our second record is 1002, and then 2022, 0101, M2, with the 15 quantity, and ST unit. Okay, so these two records I inserted into the internal table using my earlier code. Now, what is my requirement? I want to show these two records in on the output screen. So for that, I am going to perform the loop operation. So what is loop actually? Okay, what is loop? Loop is a iterative statement, means which can perform a set of codes, a block of codes, uh, you know, not, not a block of statements uh, repeatedly until it uh, you know uh, come it uh, satisfies the exit criteria what is a loop a loop perform a block of statements continuously okay uh, until like uh, uh, re repeatedly i can say repeatedly means executing same code again and again and again and again until it comes to the you know um, uh, exit exit statement or you know um, exit criteria okay that's what is loop so now how exactly loop is going to help now I have two records in my table. Now I want to display these two records on the output screen. So how I can see it generally, if you forget about code and talk you know, nominal way, you need to read the first record and write it on the output screen. And then read the second record, write it on the uh, output screen. 
this is what we do if we, if i ask you to read out the records in the internal table also you do the same thing you will go for first record and then second record and then third record so you sequentially perform this operation until you reach to the end of the data in the internal table all end of the records in the internal table correct so loop is also going to perform same kind of operation when you perform loop statement on this internal table it will first you know the cursor there will be a cursor point you know concept here it will be assigned to the first starting statement of your starting you know record of your internal table okay cursor will be assigned like this for the first record so now cursor means nothing but we do with respect to work area okay from this pointer we will read the value from the first column write it on the output screen read data from the second column write it on the output screen read data from the third column like this till end of the column means each column information we are going to read it and then write it on the output screen like this 1001 write it 2000 you know date write on the output screen read the material mm, sorry read the material write on the output screen read the quantity information write on the output screen read the unit information write on the output screen so once the record you know all the columns got read and write on the output screen then what happened then system will perform the same kind of operation for the second record it means system will move this pointer from first record into the second record now we are going to read the second up means same operation what we did for the first first line same operation we are going to perform again for the second line so reading each column information and then writing on the output screen so you see that's why i told you like repeating same kind of you know uh, coding continuously till it you know it reaches the exit criteria now what was the exit criteria now after finishing the my second record you know printing on the output screen now system will try to move my cursor to the third record but do i have third record here no it means now this is the end of the table that is the exit criteria for this loop statement since there are no further records available loop will break automatically and then it will come out of the loop statement okay if it is 100 100 records are there it will print 100 records and then it will come out of the statement loop statement okay so this is how loop is going to work now let's see the same you know scenario on how we can write it dynamically not how to write it on the code part so loop statement means um, loop so whenever you you know write loop system will propose you know um, like this you can press the tab button to take the hell you know that uh, automatic filling of the code so loop at so loop means way, way to which table i am going to loop here it is asking so loop to my internal table so what is my internal table name lt underscore sales so i am looping to my internal table so while uh, while looping to your internal table what you need to do is you need to assign some you know uh, pointer here you know i said pointer here but generally when we talk uh, we will assign you know work area into work area ls underscore sales okay so what i what it is happening here loop at internal table into we call this as a work area okay work area is nothing but you know here we have what we are using how we are you know filling the internal table using work area in the same way we are reading the table using the work area that's why whenever we are defining an internal table it is best to define the work area also simultaneously okay why because we may get a requirement you know to use it we may need it that's why better to define the work area also whenever we define internal table so i am reading my internal table into work area looping and then so what will happen whenever the system executed this particular line of statement then what happened system will assign the first line into this work area okay ls underscore sales so system will assign my first line into this work area so now using this work area and the column information i can read the first column information and the using the work area and the second second column name i can read the second column information 
so i will print that on the output screen so to print something on the output screen uh, which one which uh, i uh, keyword i need to use write keyword write ls underscore sales doc number similarly again one more write statement to print the second uh, rec uh, second column value ls sales hyphen created on right ls underscore sales material so third column information right ls underscore sales quantity right ls underscore sales unit okay so like this i have written all the column information on the output screen so then what will happen after finishing this information what i need to do i need to perform to the second line i am no need to perform anything you know whenever system reaches to this you know uh, end of the statement in this block system will again go to the starting of the block now whenever it went to the starting of the block system will check will try to move to the second record so it will assign the second first you know work area to the second record so now second record also will be printed in the same in the same fashion now whenever second record printing completed system will assign you know again go to the loop statement starting point and it will try to move to the third record whenever it is trying to move to the third record since there are no further records available system will break the loop and write it you know come to the out of the loop statement okay so i am clicking on check button no syntax error pretty printer activate so i explained it to you you know on the excel sheet how exactly it is going to work and you know now i written the code now we are going to see how in the debugging mode whether whichever i said is it correctly you know uh, happening uh, you know while the, at the time of execution so first of all if i try to execute my program after i activated my program i am trying to execute my program you see my first record came but my second record came next to the first record which is not looking nice to me okay i am expecting data to be displayed line by line so for that what we need to do uh, because there is no you know new line operator it is trying to print continuously right so for that reason just what we need to do whenever i am writing the first column information always write that information on the new line so this is just you know um, our logical ability to make it the, like in this way execute you see now it came line by line okay so simply adding the new line operator backslash on the first uh, column information always first column will be displayed on the new line so followed by the others now i am keeping a breakpoint here on the loop statement and i am executing my program so that you know it will go to the uh, debugging mode now if i double click on lt sales you see by this time my lt sales contains two records okay two records are there because i inserted two records on the top now what is happening now if i double click on my ls sales you see ls sales is a work area which is currently having no data at all okay because what you need to remember when you are in the debugging when your cursor starting at one step it means it is not yet executed okay if you press f5 then it entered into the loop it executed this loop statement and entered into the loop so when entering into the loop what i said it will assign the first record of your internal table into work area now go to ls sales you see the first record got inserted you know updated into the work area now what i am doing using this work area i am printing each information on the output screen so i am done till printing all the first column in first uh, row information so now system came to the end loop so when it came to the end loop what happens because loop is a iterative statement it again goes back to the starting of the loop press f5 you see cursor again went up to the 42 line okay now whenever it is executing this statement now second record will be updated into my work area you see second record was updated into my work area okay it is printing second record also because second record printing completed by 48 line as a loop is a iterative statement it again try to go to the first statement you see it went to the first statement now what is happening now system will try to move to the third record 
but there is no third record in my internal table by knowing this system will come out of the loop statement you see now system came out of the end loop statement now we are in 50 line this this is how your loop is getting breaked okay so by executing you know continue button f8 button now you can see the output on the output screen so i hope it is clear for you so next what we are going to learn is the select statement so far we inserted we are inserting data manually into the internal table but in real times so we don't insert data manually we will fetch data from some uh, database tables into our internal table and perform some operations on top of it okay so that is what we are going to perform to in the real time scenarios so for that reason now i am going to my next example now